Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel. Today's video, I want to tell you about an amazing pine tree, conifer, called the Norfolk Pine. Very common to the coastal area of Central Florida where I live, and also throughout the world, in Australia, New Zealand, etc. It is a gigantic tree, and I'm going to show you an example of a different stages of growth. This particular tree, I'm in a park right now that has a great number of them. This particular tree is extremely old, an example of how absolutely gigantic it can get. You get hurricanes here and the winds batter the branches and you can see it's taken some abuse over the years, but it always comes back. This tree has withstood 80 to 100 mile an hour winds over and over and over and it's still standing. It withstands salt spray, uh, the only thing it really doesn't want to withstand is really cold temperatures. Of course, the soil here is very sandy, and I think it, it favors that. This tree originates from Norfolk Islands, which is in between Australia and New Zealand. And uh, I believe it was discovered in the 1800s by Europeans. I'm probably wrong there, but anyway, it's just a really distinctive looking tree. It's about the closest thing to a Christmas tree shape that we're going to get around here in Florida. You Now this is not the kind of tree you want to plant right next to your house, at least not the kind of tree I'd want to plant right next to my house. Okay, here's an example of a very young Norfolk pine, probably about three or four years old. You can see it's being allowed to grow as a multi-trunk. That's another interesting feature of this tree is you can grow it in multiple trunks. I'd recommend not doing that. Keep it as one trunk, I think it looks a lot better. and You don't have the branches from the two trunks banging together. so. For me, I, I, I wouldn't choose to go that route. I don't know if we'll continue that here in this park, but I can see it's just a beautiful tree. It requires very little fertilization, grows well in sandy soils. Very unique, short pine needles on this tree as well. If you think of planting a Norfolk pine in your yard, here's another thing you should probably consider. Not a deal breaker, but in my mind, something well worth considering. And that is that it drops a lot of, of these. <laughs> so, you know, that could probably mow them up, but at some point they start to kill the grass and uh, they, they don't disintegrate necessarily that easily. Another thing that it does later in the season is drop a lot of small pine cones. Uh, just something to be aware of. 